What have you been doing? I have been driving round Benidorm for the last three hours on a 20-foot high bike looking for somewhere to get off it. Your face is all red. I know it's all red. I've been baking in the sun covered in bloody tinfoil all afternoon. Oh, there you are. You took your time. Yeah, listen, Mel, I, I think there's been a bit of a misunderstanding. Oh, aye. Yeah, when you came out here to open this shop, I assumed if you'd wanted me to be involved in it, I'd have come out here with you. How could you do that? You've been looking after the sunbed shops at home. Yeah, exactly. So now, I'm on my holidays. Right. Well, if you can afford to have a week without pay... Whoa, whoa, hang on a minute. You said you were going to pay me for this week. Well, I was going to pay you because you were going to be working. I'm on holiday with my family. Do you think I've made Mel Harvey Leisure Industries Limited what it is today by going on holiday? I'm not spending my holiday renting out electric wheelchairs to fat, barn idle alcoholics who are too lazy to walk to the pub. All right. I wasn't talking about you. I never said I wanted you to sit in this shop. I wanted to appoint you head of publicity and promotions. It would only take a couple of hours a day. I'm sorry, Mel, it's not fair on the kids if I... Head of what? Publicity and promotion. Out and about, meeting the public. The showbiz glamorous side of the operation. I wouldn't expect you to sit in a shop all day. Head of publicity and promotion? Absolutely. A couple of hours a day. Never more than three. Well, why didn't you say? Is it Mel's Mobility Shop in the heart of Benidorm? Grand opening, 6 p.m. Free bottle of Mobley with every order. Is it Mel's Mobility Shop in the heart of Benidorm? Grand opening. exactly is Nick doing? I told you, a bit of publicity for the shop. Right. It's just that he's been gone a while now. He's lucky to have a job. After scabbing off the social for so long, he should be on his knees thanking Mel for giving him back a bit of dignity. <laughs> Where were you? You what? You weren't at the shop. Oh, no, I closed it till the grand opening. I needed the ladder to get off the bike. What have you been doing? I have been driving round Benidorm for the last three hours on a 20-foot high bike looking for somewhere to get off it. Your face is all red. I know it's all red. I've been baking in the sun covered in bloody tinfoil all afternoon. Excuse me. We were just wondering, is it fancy dress in Natchings this evening? Only nobody's told us. Piss off. Why don't you come to the front of the building and ask someone to get me? But yeah, I'm not stupid, I thought of that. But I couldn't turn the bloody music off, nobody could hear what I was saying! Excuse me, whatever it is you're selling, you can't do it here. I'm not selling anything. I'm on my holiday. Well, I'm supposed to be. Come on, let's go in. We'll get the kids up. They're having a siesta. Hang on a minute. I've not finished yet. So I kept driving to find some shade so I didn't burn to death. Went to top off a perfect day. I realised I was about to run out of petrol. Well, how did you get down from this bike, then? I had to drive into the caravan park and jump off onto somebody's roof. Well, they are, then. No problem. Hang on. I've still not finished. I don't know how old this caravan was, but I went straight through the roof. Oh, my God. <laughs> But the good news is, nobody was home. The bad news is, it was locked from the outside. It took me another bloody hour to get out of it! You haven't left that bike in the caravan park, have you? Left it there! I'll wrap it around your bloody neck if I see it again! <gasps> oh, 